on today's show, we're going to be in Escondido, California, getting to know local experimental band Plague of Society. Aaron and Ben formed the band in 2001. Since then, however, the Plague has added new drummer Shane Paxton from bands like 3BL and The Filthy Few. Recording everything in-house, The Plague has produced at least two official albums and more than half a dozen unofficial demo cuts in Dolby Digital Sound. Now we first started doing this music because it was really a passion for us and uh, an outlet, an artistic um, way out. We didn't feel that we had to uh, compromise or you know, tone down to a different level to play. We just did it our way. And, uh, that's the way it is, and that's the way it always will be. The Plague has not given up in their attempts to bring an alternative sound to the mainstream local scenes. Trying to bring music back to the people, The Plague encourages fans to download their music for free on their website and myspace.com. Yeah, I think a lot of our vision is inspired from watching too many horror movies and listening to too much 80s under underground industrial, but I just can't help it. I feel like it's in our blood. With influences like Christian Death, Skinny Puppy, and Alien Sex Fiend, it's no surprise that Plague of Society is one of the more experimental bands in San Diego County right now. Regardless, because I mean, that's what he chose to be. Other than that, I'm a, I'm a percussionist first and foremost. And given the opportunity, I will play drums for anybody that has any kind of vision for, you know, or appreciation for what that means. With a sound that's as raw as sandpaper and an attitude to match, it's plain to see why Plague of Society is on the list in our search for underground independent artists. So next time you're at your favorite local venue, don't be surprised to see this gang of late 80s hooligans hanging around the bar. For they just may be waiting around until it's their time to go on. <laughs>